Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome the opportunity to convey the message of ICAO to this Fifth Aviation and Environment Summit. Env environmental sustainability is a global challenge that requires global solutions. ICAO is totally committed to this approach, as are all aviation stakeholders. As, as we move uh, uh, forward, we have countless opportunities to demonstrate to the world how we intend to provide our global society with greener skies for generations to come. We have a long track record of governments and industry working together to improve the performance of international aviation. Safety is a good case in point where our collaborative approach have resulted in consistent improvements over many decades, making aviation the safest mode of transport today. Tackling the climate change is another good example. Together, we have built a strong foundation upon which we reach our goals the past two years have been especially productive. The ICAO Program of Action on International Aviation and Climate Change, established with the cooperation of industry partners, was and remained the only global agreement by a sector to deal with its CO2 emissions. An international framework was established to facilitate the development and deployment of sustainable alternative fuels for aviation, an extremely promising breakthrough for limiting aviation's impact on climate change. As an organization, we have been focusing on three specific areas. First, the feasibility of move, ambitious medium and long-term goals, including carbon neutral growth of emission reductions beyond the global goal of 2% annual improvement in fuel efficiency until the year 2050. Second, establishing a global framework for effective effective market-based measures in international aviation that can provide real reductions in net carbon emissions. And the third, measures that facilitate access to financial resources, technology transfer and capacity building for developing states. Again, this is something we must do together. The air transport industry is taking a very proactive approach to address climate change and is very supportive of government initiatives. All industry representatives at this summit, airlines, manufacturers, airports, and air navigation service providers have committed to, the, to industry wide goal to reduce aviation's impact on climate change. They are looking to states meeting at ICAO for leadership on a global policy for international aviation and climate change for the sector, just as the world is looking to states meeting under the UNFCCC for leadership on the wider impact of climate change. Yours is an industry that works to em the environment talk. I take this opportunity to commend the huge and indispensable contribution you have so far made. The Council agreed on timetable for an aviation CO2 standards aiming at 2013, a milestone that would establish the first global fuel efficiency standard for any industry sector. The new standard will set clear direction and, uh, and time frames for manufacturers to keep producing innovative aircraft design and materials, as well as more fuel efficient engines. Collaborative actions between governments, airlines, airports, and air navigation service providers are on their way in all ICAO regions to facilitate implementation of operational changes and the improvement of air traffic management and airport systems, all aimed at reducing aviation emissions. ICAO's concrete actions and aviation's tangible global results show the remarkable progress of states and the air transport industry toward efficient and sustainable global aviation under the leadership of ICAO. As we look ahead, it is clear that consensus building and global cooperation are the only avenue for achieving environmentally sustainable international aviation. One of the main tasks of ICAO is to bridge the gap between states, including political readiness, to accept more ambitious goals and ways to address the application of market-based measures across national borders in a constructive and forward-looking manner toward a global solution. Over the past few year, days, the Council has been considering the draft assembly resolution on international aviation and climate change that will be presented to the upcoming ICAO assembly. This will be yet another opportunity for states 
and the aviation community to demonstrate to the world the power of global consensus and cooperation. Policies and international aviation and climate, uh, 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 climate change that are expected to be adopted by the Assembly will subsequently be brought to the attention of COP16 in Mexico. That position will reflect that ICAO is the global forum for pursuing aviation environmental issues, bringing together the best technical expertise, viewpoints of member states, representatives from the aviation industry, and other international organizations. This is done in a global spirit of reconciling differing views from states under a harmonized global approach. It also implies coordinating our efforts with other UN sisters organizations, such as the IPCC, the UNFCCC, UNEP, and WMO, to further develop our understanding of aviation emissions environmental impact and to define the most appropriate mitigation measures. The aviation industry has already demonstrated its commitment to reducing its climate change impact at previous aviation and environmental summits and through its global targets and strategies. I truly appreciate the support that the industry is giving to ICAO in addressing this challenging issue. I know that ICAO can count on your continued cooperation to move forward ambitiously to demonstrate to the world that ICAO can and will advance in its efforts to address climate change while ensuring a sustainable future for the international aviation sector. Thank you.